Hey Taurus, fellow Taurus gang gang. Uh, I felt the need to do a special extra one for us. Because if you are feeling lost, kind of like I am, like you have been compromising yourself for other people and you're not able to declutter their energies and it's really causing a lot of mental influx issues especially in your own home there's no there's no separation okay if you're new hello i'm brandy i do not feel like being on camera i do not feel like talking on the phone but for some reason i really felt pulled to come do an extra reading for taurus sun moon rising and venus um pretty much for you know next couple of weeks and lo and behold uh as i was meditating that's exactly what i picked up is boundaries compromising for other people um <clears throat> uh, needing to focus and really carry out certain aspects of ourself uh, I also, well, seen 38 and 39, which is like advancement, but also stepping back. Like when, it's almost a question of when did we start to get out of balance? When did we sense this change? Like this mental change? Who crossed a boundary? who is tapped into us you know mm, definitely feels water definitely feels like a water sign uh scorpio um pisces i have neptune showing up um and i want to say like it's really killing the vibe it's it, it's a lack of motivation it's aggravation um uh, women women it's even affects like sex drive uh sexuality sex appeal it it's like our self-confidence our passion our determination has been sucked clean dry of us lately we feel very old older than what we should whether you are older or not you are all of a sudden feeling <laughs> way older than what you should it's a burden it's like you're carrying around and we're tired all of everyone else's burdens it's tapped us out put that very blatantly it's with all the transitions and everything going on here some people are going to think you're a raging asshole or bitch because you're trying to implement these changes and with these changes they're going to be in darkness whoever this is they are going to be in darkness when you cut this off okay it's the past that has i don't know it's just with respect you know it's detoxifying your body is sensitive right now and it's like no one is taking your request no one is doing that you know understanding that we have our own stress to deal with we have our own old patterns to deal with like our cares our worries our concerns someone doesn't have proper boundaries and it's like they're constantly tapped into the back of our neck they're causing confusion they're causing us to take on their emotions where we are burned out i, I point blank burned out I thought it was just me until I came to meditate on Taurus. Like, in general. I, I thought it was me. But all Spirit's doing is giving me uh, validation of what I needed. Right? But I I even have, like, a Virgo. Which is funny that that came out. But, um... It's like someone's trying to, like, put you under this. No, no. You know, don't... Don't do that. Don't... You know you're emotionally vulnerable right now the person you're dealing with super touchy easily bruised uh, but it's like those emotions of others are exhausting us thank God it's not just me 
right? Um, and it's like, we can't be strong right now. Or creative. And it's like, music would help us. We can't even listen to our own gut reactions right now. Very accurate with our gut reactions. I'm an accurate psychic. I'm like, medium, shadow worker. But the last three days... It, like everyone who's depressed are connected to me and that's what I'm picking up here and the the shitty part about the general reading I mean I don't really get that for me but someone is purposely doing that someone is purposely trying to sync their emotions up with yours they want to be emotionally close they want to be you know in on the secret they want to be bonded they want to you know your go-to person that's problem you may be a maternal figure to this person or that's how they see you but it's causing a lot of negative charge and they need to learn forgiveness like that needs to be their best response rather than lashing out and it's like, we need to hide right now, which is going to cost us money. It's going to cost us, uh, you know, time. I don't know about you, but I work for my phone. So I have two phones going off and there's boundaries again. Boundaries. I can't focus because no one knows boundaries. I shouldn't have to turn them off or I can't do my daily things because other people don't understand boundaries, right? And it's like they're always uh, bringing that hurt and that pain over to you. And this is why they feel better. And this is why they get angry when you want to do what you need to do or what you w desire to do. Which is literally needing to deal with your own past, your own shadow that's coming out. You know? This is like witches and uh, directed at you. So like the other day... I'm driving to go feed the cat colonies and I do no harm. A bird literally committed suicide as I was taking a turn slowly dove in to my tire. That was a sign. And I, I could see the person's face. Who is close to me. Um, but then I also had another array of people standing behind them that I seen. Um, it was family, uh, clients. It's uh, a lot like these people have issues with trust and it's bringing those moods over to us. They're very sensitive. They drown in their emotions. They want to be saved. And it's like always looking at problems instead of dealing with the problems. And we have compassion and we are sympathetic. We are supportive. But at this current time, for the next, like, two weeks, we are supposed to be dealing with our own awareness, our own memory, our own past, our mother issues, our maternal issues, our fluctuations in mood, okay? It's all about the karma right now. This person is very charming, right but you are a mediator you are the backbone there is a consequence here someone does not want to take accountability they they don't want the truth they don't want the honesty and they don't have integrity so there's a lot of cause and effect here which is going to get thrown back into this person's face wh whoever this is in your life which is going to make them angry i'm telling you right now i keep getting a lot of anger negativity um we are at our breaking point we've been having a lot of dreams tied like we feel isolated but not in a good way not in the way that we need right like we need time to do our own stuff but not not in this capacity not like we're hiding and we can't do anything because we're afraid someone's gonna need us capacity <laughs> You can always hit that like, share, subscribe, and comment if this is resonating. Like I said, I felt pulled to do this. And then lo and behold, it's not just my energy. <laughs> no, this is like, these transitions literally start, I guess today would be when you see this. 
to the uh, a whole month, like the 21st of November. It's like we can't hear our own soul. We can't hear ourself. We can't surrender to ourself. We can't do what best serves us at this time. Okay? The, the sign of Scorpio? We may be ruthless. Like, we may have to have that change, that ruthless behavior. But it's well deserved on other people's ends. They're very emotional, but they're not sympathetic of our needs, is what I'm getting. And it's like we can feel their energy tapped into us, but because they're so draining, we don't, we can't get out of that. And then they just hook right back in. And it's like, they want our darkest secrets. They want to know everything about us, but none of their own is allowed to come out. They fear loss of control. They feel, uh, when you back away, they feel cornered. And it's like, we're going to have to play dead for a minute. Yeah, weird, right? That's what just keeps coming out. They want help and sympathy from everyone else, but don't understand, like, our life force has been drained and used against us, but we're supposed to be much stronger and happier. It's just going to be very intense, this transition, this change. We have some uh, karmic issues to do with this energy zapping, and it's of karmic nature, and we are being tried. And we, we feel like everything is against us. Me included. Okay. I actually came to do this general reading to see if I could find things I can't see for myself. You get me? I can't see things for myself. So sometimes I will also get messages in the general. Not all of them. But very, very deep ties to people. And it's like someone may want revenge. And you're not guilty of anything because you just wanted... You know, to protect your reputation, your business, your family, your whatever, your boundaries. And they are not having it. It's obsession. Damn. I mean, I feel my energy, but someone's dealing with this definitely. Like, they want to manipulate. And it's backfiring. It's not, it's, they're not a resource. They did not work for what they are asking for. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like they pretend they have no idea what you're talking about when you say anything. That's why you just have to pull the plug. It's like tied to a job, a career, um, trying to, all these demands, these demands, these boundaries, these s sacrificial lambs. Let's put it that way. Sacrificial lambs, <sighs> which has made us lose our focus, our intentions, what we started something for because we've fallen under someone else's game plan no matter how many times we've tried to be nice or tell them like someone else is pulling the strings right now which is dangerous for us it's dangerous for us I like to say don't fondle my trigger and then blame my gun it's a part of a Fiona Apple song but it's very true right very true so it's like a lot of forces are against us which is bringing out all of these cloudy energies we're supposed to be doing our own deep self dive right now our own reflection and it's causing issues in finances yeah it is but it's to take our chance and stick with our decisions um, something will work out but again it feels like something's dead in the water, like our sex drive, our desire. It's very stagnant. Okay, it's almost like um, sending hauntings our way or something. Um, and it's like, interesting. So I just seen like Persephone and Hades. When things have to die off, when things have reach their time time to go underground you know what i mean get into the heart of things not be part of any foolish behavior or get into agreements with people who um want to take our psychic energy or our compassion i keep getting this magic spell this metaphysical thing like vampire teeth just draining the energy because they're lonely so we can't be left alone I don't know who this is for you. I know a few who it is for me. Um, if you're here, you have a gut intuition. 
there is like this sexual secret attraction as well with someone and it's like they win they lose um don't know how to be themselves it's very very karmic in nature is the crazy part about this okay i also keep picking up a lot of black animals i've seen a panther i've seen a raven um it's like going through the dark almost brings out another power and this power i keep seeing the raven um feathers and like raven feathers red could be red hair um of being like no more no more like i've done my darkness i've done my work i am a protector I am a protector and you are hungry for my energy. You constantly crave it. I need freedom for this. I need to rest. And this has been a warning. So if they don't listen, things are going to keep happening in their life, which may be the wins and the losses while we recuperate. Okay. Someone's also got a dead relative, could be getting monies and goods from it, inheritances. Um, Wow, I don't know why I've seen the homicide, but like, not, not, not your circus, dude. Not your circus. Not your circus. On a positive note, uh, I did pull one oracle, and it's uh, the wild rose of love. Roses are a universal symbol of love. The rose was associated with Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. It was also thought to represent truth. In Roman times, a rose was hung in meeting places with the understanding that only truth could be spoken under the rose. In many Native American tribes, wild roses are a powerful symbol of life. Ha! Huh. Yes, ours is being drained. Go on. Some tribes believe that wild roses were protection, so they kept them in their homes. The wild rose, as opposed to the domesticated rose, represents a love that is wild and free and without bounds. It blossoms all summer and is beloved by bees and butterflies. Love is all around you. Love is coming into your life. You are already more cherished than you can possibly know. Indeed, you are a sacred vessel for love to flow through when you stand in the center of it all. All is well, no matter what's happening around you. You know that you're loved. You're lovable. You know that there is nothing that you need to do to deserve love. You are enough just as you are. In the depth of your soul, you are love. It matters the heart and the romance. All this healing is already healed. In terms of self-love, your confidence and self-esteem are growing as you take time to cherish and care for yourself. You know what I hear through that, folks? We have to pull the reins back in. I know that's horrible when we have bills to pay. That's horrible when we're trying to run things or kids or our house. You know what I mean? I got all of the above. But... We don't have to give so much to feel appreciated. Some people just take. It's never enough. They constantly take. They don't understand what is, hey, I need a moment. You know, I'm sorry that some people are lonely. I really am. I mean, I, I wish people weren't. But I cannot do everything for everyone when I'm already drowning. Like a bath at this point is a flipping luxury if you get me. I'm trying to descale, even though uh, the bank account isn't looking like fantastic, but I've had to take time. So you get me. Um, I also need to prepare and have all of my energy for this war water defense ritual I'm doing. There are 13 spots altogether. There's either 12 or 11. I just put it out. It's on my website at toriandi.com. I'm literally going to be wearing gloves now. There's several types. Mine is more grandma magic. Mine is defense only. It puts the energy back on the person's doorstep. If you're having a hard time and you're fixated like a bad habit, it works for that too, right? So make sure you head over there. You find it. You sign up if you need it. It's going to be maybe once a month, depending on how this one goes. Um, I will be performing it for each person. You'll get the validation through email after I've done my due diligence because it has to cook, so to speak. Um, yeah, 
So don't be coming and thinking I'm doing like dark hoodoo magic. It is a dark protective magic, but it's only to shoo away the dark on my end. I don't do anything to harm people. I send it back. So again, you can head over to ToriAndI.com. I feel like some of you may flip and need to. I'll be doing it for myself as well. And I will catch you later.